and welcome. You're watching the GB Times Third Angle Insight. I'm Jenny Hammond. Today we'll look at one of Finland's most successful innovations which has become a worldwide phenomenon, Angry Birds. How has it been received in China and with such a strong connotation as a title, how has it worked in Chinese society which has long embraced peace, harmony and happiness? Developed by Finnish computer game developer Rovio Entertainment, Angry Birds is a strategy puzzle video game inspired primarily by a sketch of stylized wingless birds. But why the title Angry Birds? The principle of the game is centered on birds who are attacking egg-stealing pigs with their eggs in jeopardy. They are ununderstandably angry. In the game, players use a slingshot to launch the birds with the intent of destroying all the pigs on the playing field. But with such an aggressive theme, how was the game first received in China? I think the Angry Birds game is very creative. I have come across the game only very recently. Firstly, it is very easy to operate. Also, a lot of physics concepts such as inertia and elasticity are incorporated into the game. As for the name of the game itself, I first wondered why angry? Why the name is Angry Birds and not Happy Birds or Smart Birds instead? This question stirred my curiosity and then prompted me to understand the game. As for Angry Birds as a brand name, I think its success lies in its efforts on localization and incorporating the distinct elements of each local culture. I believe that Angry Birds will have more and more followers. Today I can see many visitors coming to the Angry Birds theme park. I believe that it will not just be domestic visitors, but there will be more international visitors coming to the theme park to experience this. The first time when I heard the name Angry Birds, the first question that came to my mind was, why was it angry and not happy birds instead? Because in Chinese language and culture, angry is a too strong word. But exactly because of this difference, it has prompted me to be very curious and look for information about the game. Then I discover that it is the piggies that have stolen eggs from the birds, causing the birds to attack the piggy space in an attempt to get the eggs back. Then I realized this is why it is called Angry Birds. What I also felt odd about the game initially was why did it have to be birds? There is a too big size difference between birds and pigs. So using birds to hit pigs is just out of proportion and difficult. But I think this is also one aspect of the company's branding strategy. According to an official report, there are now over 500 million internet users in China, and a large proportion of them are moderate game users. Angry Birds is already widespread throughout China and is especially popular among Chinese youngsters. Its success has been largely accredited to the increasing popularity of iPhones and smartphones for which the game is designed. It's a very user-friendly game, easily accessible, and players become competitive trying to reach each new level. It's also quite strategic, with players needing to calculate optimal gravity and angles to achieve success. But can the game continue being successful in China? This really depends upon continuous innovation, local culture adaptation, and the seasonal launch of new additions, which has already been proved through the China-focused Moon Festival and Year of the Dragon games, which were made for China but are also popular in the West. This has created a sort of cross-cultural synergy, a Finnish innovation spreading out to other parts of the world and then being enriched with local cultural elements. This results in cross-cultural communication. And the success of the game is not just virtual. Angry Birds theme parks are also popping up around the world, with the first opening in Tampere, Finland, but closely followed by a Chinese version. So although a Finnish innovation, it seems that Angry Birds has universal appeal. Its key to success, simplicity, cute characters and rewarding play combined with the growing popularity of smartphones and its ability to adapt to most cultures. Well, if you have any thoughts or feedback on this show or our past shows, then please email us at feedback at gbtimes.com. And you can also leave comments on our website at www.gbtimes.com. Thanks for watching and bye for now.